What up, what up? Welcome back to the channel. So today, we are going to be talking about five exercises that I wish, girl, I wish I knew about a long time ago. I mean, come on guys, like you gotta admit, fitness is a journey and we're all learning along the way. I'm still learning to this day, don't get it twisted. So we're gonna go head over to the gym because we got some chit chatting to do. Hopefully this video can help somebody else out there who's currently learning the ropes. Maybe this could speed you up and let you in on some information. So if you are not already, definitely hit that subscribe button, girl. Follow me on IG <laughs> and TikTok for all things fitness. Yeah, because together we got this. All right guys, so we are at our gym. Now keep in mind, these five exercises, I only started actually incorporating them into my routine about three, four years ago, not even. So I've been working out for about 13 years. That just goes to show like nobody's perfect in this. A lot of times we ignore exercises because we don't know the full benefits of them until one day you realize like, Dang. Or you might even underestimate what you're actually capable of, so do not fear, all right, baby? We've all been there. Some of these exercises might be super obvious to you, but keep in mind, everybody learns, everybody goes through their journey, so this could help some of you out. Let's go. All right, guys, so honestly, when I first started working out, I never worked chest. I always thought working chest was like a guy thing, but dang girl, you can be more wrong than that. I also used to think that working chest would like deflate mine, and I don't really got much to work with as it is, so I was always like anti-chest. But since I started working chest, I can't help but notice that my little mosquito bites look a little perkier, kinda looks like I'm wearing a little extra padding. I can't complain. So I prefer using dumbbells to chest press with rather than a barbell. Barbell, you can compensate. If you have one weaker side than the other, you're compensating, whereas dumbbell, free, free weight like this, there's no compensation, baby. Boobies nice and perky. Okay, so the second exercise, oh girl, rows. So once upon a time, when I first started working out, get get this, you're gonna hate me for this, but um, I never worked back, period. No speck of back was worked out when AG worked out. Ew, who are you? I don't wanna talk about it that much because it's very embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> um, I never like saw my back. <laughs> so I always thought out of sight, out of mind, it's good enough, it's not important to be toned. But the truth is, girl or guy, whoever's watching, is you have to work every part of your body equally. Once I learned how sexy a nice chiseled back is, game over. The absolute best and most favorite workout for my back that I love to do are rows. Any kind of rows, whether they're seated, or bent over rows with a barbell, they have significantly impacted the look of my back like nothing else in the world. We didn't get our row machine in yet, so I will be demonstrating my second favorite, which is the bent over rows. That is what's going to help build your upper body and chisel you out so that you have more of an hourglass shape. Your hand placement helps to target different areas of your back. So for example, underhand row, will help to target mostly just your lats, whereas overhand is now your upper area of your back, your traps. But for me, my preference and what I like to work, we're doing underhand and blasting those lats, baby. Now DJ.
Okay, so the third exercise that I only actually started doing, what, two years ago? Not even, I don't think. <laughs> is weighted abs, okay? A couple years ago is when I actually started to pay attention to working my abs. I used to think that just incorporating them, in my compound lifts, and I don't even know, like walking on a treadmill and just tightening them. <laughs> I always felt like that's good enough. So yeah, it was only about two years ago when I started to incorporate ab circuits at the end of my workouts. Now, like only a year ago, I started to incorporate weighted ab circuits. Weighted, the weights have made the biggest difference in my entire abdominal region. Abs are like any other muscle in your body. You incorporate weight, they're gonna get bigger. So I was incorporating weight on every aspect of my body, but not my abs. Why? How come, Ash? Why didn't you do that? So fast forward a year later, and I freaking love shredding it up with a nice barbell, a kettlebell, dumbbells, you name it. But I always train abs with weights now, just like I would any other part of my body. So I love to do a bunch of different types of weighted abs. My absolute favorite is a fixed barbell, and I like to do extensions into toe touches. So by doing this, it's gonna work your entire core, your shoulders, your hip flexors, you name it. This is a freaking shredder up in here. Shred it. All right guys, so exercise number four. I wish I freaking knew this little trick here. It's elevated goblet squats. So I've been enjoying goblet squats for a while. They're really good for targeting your quads. But I just recently found out this past freaking year, thank you to quarantine and Instagram, that elevating your heels helps to actually target the quads better than anything in this entire world. And since we were out of machines and couldn't have our leg extensions, this is what I sat here and did day in, day out. I can't even freaking believe it. Like where has this been all my life? The angle just really helps to isolate those quads and just burn them right up. And three, two, one. Alright guys, so last but not least, oh, you might disown me after hearing this one. Are you ready? So the last exercise that I wish I had done for mad years, but literally only started doing two years ago, are hip thrusts. Hip thrusts. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't even want to know where my glutes would be how evolved they might just be if I started this a long time ago. Girl, I always like really wanted a big booty and I always like stuff with little donkey kicks, little things like that here and there, which are totally great. <laughs> but nothing, nothing in this entire world gets the entire glute muscle, both cheeks, activated at the same time so intensely like hip thrusts. Period. Now, if I'm being real with you, and if you've been watching me for a while, you know that I don't actually like do crazy hip thrusts. I do lightweight hip thrusts, but actual heavier weight. I do static holds. I kind of have bay, my muscular fancy man bay, lift the weight and place it carefully on my hips so that I don't have to like go through the motion of pulling it up because of my dang scoliosis. <laughs> scoliosis. Ooh. All right, baby, let's get in a position. Ah. Ready, Bay? Where you at, Bay? There you are.
All right, guys, so that is it. Those are just five exercises that I've recently kind of discovered in the last couple of years that I really wish, really wish I had somebody to freaking let me know what I'm missing out on because who knows where the gains might be right now. So yeah, I hope this video helped a few of you guys out there. If you have any questions, of course, hit me up, you know, let a girl know and I will get back to you. And if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you aren't already. Follow your girl on IG and TikTok where you don't stop because more content just like this. Party Central back here with our new TikTok lights. How y'all like that? So uh, yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Bay and I are gonna finish up our workout now and get this party officially started. I love y'all so much and I'll catch you in my next video.